Hello, Erica. I hope you're doing well. I just want to kind of go over with you the current progress I'm having. Um, I just want to show real quick what I set up to happen. Um, so I set it up so that uh, on the sales order, um, whenever there's an item fulfillment, right, one of these item fulfillments are happening, that we will have a cost of goods sold amount shown here, and a cost of goods sold date shown here, right? This will happen and this will be able to be transferred into the sales order once you hit this bill button right here. And so what I was trying to do in order to, because um, I wasn't able to complete this task in Sandbox first because we don't really have the project functionality in full scope. We do, but it has been being used since the very first few weeks. So we don't have any kind of current or active transactions that might have been fulfilled or invoiced. So I had to do it in, in the, in the production account. But yeah, I got this successfully in there, which is good news. And this will be transferred over into the invoice once um, it's billed, right? So what I was trying to do is I was trying to find a completed transaction that had those invoices. And so I figured out to go sometime into like uh, customer bills, right? And so the first thing I noticed is, let me just pull up some older ones while this is loading. The first thing that I noticed is that when I looked at these right here, typically, typically we can go down here to related records and we can see the sales order it was created from. But how it seems right now, when I look through this record, it seems like this is standalone that I don't know which sales order this is attached to typically go in here under related records, there'll be a list of sales orders that's been attached to, or there'll be a sublink over here that we know. Um, my only imagine, the only way that I can imagine that it's linked to something else is maybe just through this customer or job ID, but typically these transactions are actually linked together. And I also did the same thing with item fulfillments. So I looked at some item fulfillments and I figured something from September would be fulfilled. And when I looked at it, it has been fulfilled, which is great, but it has not been billed yet. So typically how the workflow goes is you go from sales order, right? From the sales order, once it's fulfilled, you have the fulfillment. And then from the fulfillment, you press bill and that creates the invoice and it pre-populates all the information and all the parts you've used, and everything like that. Um, you can see here it has to created from sales order, right? Here. So that I'm struggling to kind of understand how am I going to connect um, the, because my original thinking was from the sales order, we populate this, this would populate on the invoice, which would have the actual revenue amount too. And so we'd have an additional field on here. And then from in within here, I can easily create a report or a safe search, right? Since we have all the information we're looking for on the same record, right? Before the problem was that all this information was like two or three, like three to four degrees separation away. And that was really hard to populate on one record and have it be on the same line. But now that I have it all on the same line, it should be populating the record, no problem. I should be able to populate the report, no problem. However, I just want to get understanding of this process. I'm not sure if this is just a matter of not understanding that typically what people see is that they see a customer bill created from the sales order, right? But when I looked at all the sales order, none of the sales order had been, they had been fulfilled, but none of them had seemed to be billed. All the bills were essentially standalones, right? With no associated sales order. Again, it might, it might be associated with some non-native NetSuite functionality. Maybe it's attached to this attached to this job ID, or maybe it's attached to just this. And I go into this customer and I and I would find the other associated sales orders. But typically it's one long stream of connections. They're all inter they're all interconnected and you know the sales order goes into the item fulfillment, the item fulfillment goes into the build, the bill goes into the customer payment and it's all connected. And right now I'm kind of trying to figure out how this is connected, right? Um, I hope this makes sense. I'm gonna be working on these other tasks. Once we get an understanding of this, um, I'm hoping maybe I can populate 
because I'm not trying to reformat your whole flow. I mean, typically in that suite functionality, you see this flow and it makes everything very nice and clean. And this might have been, might have been a a fault on our on our own that we didn't really train that clearly about how the invoicing process should look differently now that the inventory module has been put in place. Um, but uh, yeah, this this seems to be a, a small hiccup, but we can get over it. Either we can change the process, or maybe we can just um, populate again in here, like just like I did with these items. I can just find a way to populate the invoice amount and also the uh, the uh, connection point. Like maybe it's the job ID or the customer ID or the project specifically. All right, let me know what you think. I hope you're having a good weekend and I'll talk to you soon.